Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the somewhat quirky designed candle stand which I mostly made it from embroidery hoops, a tree branch, some scrap wood pieces and the end of a crescent roll tube. Interesting right? I got the inspiration to make this piece from this Macy's metal candle holder and I thought that I can work around it and make a piece of my own for way more less money. To know more how I did it, please keep watching. I'm starting off by just cleaning up my tree branch for which I use this carving tool. You can use anything that will help you to peel off the outer layer of the branch. Next I took these embroidery hoops and spray painted them in copper. You can use any metallic color of your liking. Now we will join this branch to the embroidery hoop for which I'm starting with the middle hoop. Once I have marked where the hoop will touch the branch, I am making a small cut with a wood cutting knife. If you just stick the branch to the hoop directly, that may not be strong enough to hold everything. Hence I decided to make a small cut in the branch and join the hoop to the branch around that cut. I did make a mistake initially of not taking into account the direction of the curve of my hoop and just made a straight cut, so don't do that. Take into account the curve of your hoop and make the cut accordingly. Moving on to the side hoops, arrange them first as you like. I tried this intermingled falling loop thing. You can decide how you want your hoops to stand and once done, use some masking tape to join the hoops and the branch together. Mark where the hoop is touching the branches and make a small cut on the branch again. Next, here I am using some Mod Podge initially to glue the branch to the hoop. I used Mod Podge because I wanted to hide the glue marks but this did not work out well for me and I had to eventually use wood glue to join the branch to the embroidery hoop. I used some clamps too to hold the hoop and the branch together. For the base I used a scrap piece of 2x6 and cleaned its edges. I painted it in a combination of deep brown and black. I also wanted to give some height to the candle stand so I decided to add a small piece of wood in between the hoop and the base. I'm marking the curved part of the center hoop and I'm going to chisel off this curved part. You can use a jigsaw or a band saw to do this step but I don't have those so I just did it manually and then sanded it off to make it more smooth. For making the part that will actually hold up the candles, I had one dowel cut into 6 small pieces with one side of each piece cut at 45 degrees so that we can make a perfect L shape out of them. These L shaped pieces will stick out of the branch which will hold our candles. I painted all of these parts in a combination of deep brown and black. The measurements of these L-shaped parts will depend on how far you want your candles to stick out from the branch. Mine were mostly 1.5 to 2 inches long. Once the dowels have been painted and dried, I use some wood glue to join two dowel pieces at a time to give them that L-shape.
Now for joining the double pieces to the main branch, you can either glue them directly to the branch or follow what I did which made them a bit more sturdy. I'm going to insert a piece of a skewer stick in all these dowels and use them to join the dowels to the branch. For this, I'm first drilling around a quarter inch hole on one side of the dowel that will stick to the branch and around the same size hole on the branch too. Be careful when you're drilling a hole on the branch so that it doesn't crack. Drill all the points where your dowels will go. Then I used a skewer stick, measured how much I want, inserted it in the dowel end, spread some wood glue on the dowel and inserted the stick with the dowel piece to the branch. To fill the holes on the hoop that were there because of the embroidery pins, I used some cork. After finding the center of the base, I am marking the point where the smaller base will go. I am nailing the smaller base with the main base to make it stronger and of course I am going to use some wood glue with it. To join the hoop to the smaller base, I used a mix of wood glue and some all-purpose interior construction adhesive. I tried nailing the hoop to the base but that didn't work out well for me, hence I used a mix of wood glue and all-purpose construction adhesive here. I don't have a clip for it as I didn't realize that my camera had stopped recording. For the plates that will hold the candle, I am using the ends of this puff pastry tube that has a small plate at the ends. I took it off and this is what you get. I used three of them and I will stick these metal plates to the ends of the L-shaped dowels by using some super glue. I finished the whole thing by giving a touch of paint wherever it was required and there you have it. Your DIY candle stand is ready. This piece would look great anywhere in your house and it is super quick to bake. The total cost of this project for me was $299 which includes the price that I paid for embroidery hoops which I got from a thrift store 
and the candles itself. Let me know what you think of this DIY candle stand. If you liked it, then please hit the like button to show you love. And if you want to see more DIYs, then join my channel by clicking that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that you know when I post my future videos. I will talk to you soon with my new DIY project. Till then, please take care and stay safe.